Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today is all about a sesame chicken on the Blackstone. We've incorporated a few standard ingredients along with teaching you tips and tricks along the way. If you guys wanna see this, here we go. Alrighty, we're talking about sesame chicken. Now we've thrown a couple ingredients in there that might be untraditional. That's on me, I got a reason why. Throughout this process, we use different ingredients that we bought at the store. Those ingredients sometimes stay in your pantry and you're like, man, I'll never use that, yada, yada. So this is what we've done. There are some ingredients that we've listed that I felt like we could substitute a traditional ingredient. That way we can use that product through your pantry because I go through the same thing. As many recipes as we make, it's hard to just keep buying, 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 buying because there are many I, or, uh, ingredients that just sit there. So let's use those ingredients. Here's the idea. We got our chicken breast, because you can't have sesame chicken without, thanks honey, chicken. We got a flour and cornstarch mix. We're gonna season our chicken with egg wash. Uh, vegetables, completely up to you. I like a vegetable, I feel like it's a great way to get uh, some type of healthiness into a dinner. So we just chose broccoli, I like the bigger green onions, bell pepper and onion, okay? Here we go, the sauces. Rice wine vinegar, that chili garlic oil that we've been using a lot lately, instead of using fresh garlic, and instead of using like any type of heat inside this recipe, then that's got some of it there. Sweet chili sauce, same thing. It's gonna add a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of heat. Hot honey, one of those things that's in your pantry that you might buy for the barbecue side or you might just happen to like it, why not use it? You've already got it. Sesame oil, oyster sauce, that's one of the ingredients. Ketchup, brown sugar, and low sodium soy sauce. I've already got a lot of prep work done because I want to focus more about the griddle and about the cook, about the realization of like what it takes. Create that sauce, move it on and off the heat so we're not going to over reduce it. Um, so we're going to focus more on the griddle than we are on the prep side. Let's go. We're going to use the technique kind of like the idea of velveting. So we're going to add some eggs. The idea is here, before that chicken hits that starch and flour, if you can create just a little bit of flavor inside of it, the chicken will absorb it. And that's what we're looking for. Out of the soy sauce that we use, I'm just gonna add a little bit. Just like, you know, just a little bit. Garlic powder, salt, black pepper. Give that a mix. And we are going to let this sit up for about 15, 20 minutes. All right, just give that a mix. Incorporate those ingredients. And then with this chicken, you can see how much egg and stuff they have absorbed. We're going for individual coverage. After it's all said and done, it should be pretty sticky. Fry temperature, we're looking about 400 to 425, or griddle temperature rather. All right, this griddle side's on low, this is on medium. We're gonna start over here first. Shallow fry, you guys know the drill. I like to put my chicken down in individual pieces. Just trying to put that chicken there to dam up that oil. All right, I've turned the left side of the griddle off. You're going to need a cool zone. So that's the one we chose. 
You see here, we got some beautiful crispiness going on. That's what you want. Start taking that bad stuff off the griddle. I'm not necessarily too worried about the temperature of the chicken. Once the sauce gets on there, it will be on there for a few seconds. So you definitely don't want to cook it done at this point. We've still got a little ways to go. I'm going to reserve that grease, the oil. Now the whole griddle's on low. We're going to add our vegetables, get those going. Now that right there is fried crispy chicken. I know, that was good for just homemade chicken nuggets. Yeah, so we're gonna pull this off the griddle just for a second because I don't want to overcook the chicken. We just got a cooling rack right here with a paper towel underneath it. If you notice here, a vegetable still has some tender crisp to them. You need that because once you add the sauce, there's so much steam and moisture. So now what we're going to do is be working the griddle, okay? We need a cool zone and a warmer zone. You're going to notice throughout the process, the sauce will drastically reduce the temperature of the griddle. So we need to be able to find our hot spots to be able to reduce it. One thing that we did not add to our sauce is a slurry or cornstarch or a thickener of any kind because the griddle does such a great job. Plus, once you add your sauce to your already floured cornstarch chicken, that's going to act as a thickener as well. You making fun of me? No, that makes a lot of sense. Well, it does to you, honey. You eat off paper plates in a microwave. <laughs> We're gonna mix all of our ingredients together, starting off with soy sauce, brown sugar, ketchup, sesame oil, oyster sauce, hot honey, rice wine, sweet chili, and that crunchy garlic chili oil. Just give that a mix, dissolve all the ingredients, incorporate them. I just cooked some white rice, trying to fluff it up really quick. This is actually basmati. Try and get everything prepped because once you add the sauce, this thing is going to go quick. So you got to be ready. Plates out, people ready, stuff like that. So. Just shooting the griddle gun anywhere between 420 and 450. Um, perfect for us. If you need to alternate a burner, you can. If you need to turn up a burner, you can. Don't add all your sauce at once. Add about 50%. Get all that incorporated. And this is what I was talking about. Listen to the difference of the sounds, okay? It's drop the temperature of the griddle. You notice how hot that side was? This is why we only add half of the sauce. If you add too much sauce, it'll run in one direction, run towards your grease trap and you'll lose it. And then you won't have your sauce. So just work with manageable All right, the griddle's completely turned off. Plenty of residual heat. We're gonna speed the process up. Literally, we're gonna be cleaning the griddle. I always try to preach four corners so you don't douse the whole griddle, okay? The griddle's been calming down. Get all the junk off.
sesame chicken's done. You always eat with your eyes, just a little bit of green onion on top. And of course, you gotta add your sesame seeds. We're just using white today. And there we go. Sesame chicken on the griddle. Alrighty, truth be told, the sauce is not 100% necessarily what you would think when you eat at a Chinese restaurant. It's a little off from what you typically would, but in fairness, I think the meat to uh, sauce ratio is a little off. I would keep the sauce recipe the exact same. I would cut the three chicken breasts down to two chicken breasts and try it like that. I think that's fair. Typically when you think of sesame chicken, it's like loaded in sauce. I think it's so strong that you actually might not need it, but some people might prefer it. You do you. I know one thing, it's dang good. It's dang good. <laughs> mm. It's not as sweet, you know? Like, and I like that. I like that too, because sesame chicken, when you get it from a Chinese restaurant, is like a like straight sugar. <laughs> it's like eating uh, it's like smacks from, smear, uh, from cereal. <laughs> mm. 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 It is super good. Mm. I actually like it just like that without a ton of extra sauce. Well, I mean, I'm going to put stracha on it. I would keep the three chicken breasts. <laughs> That's what eating's all about, right? You got different strokes for different folks. We have a massive Asian playlist. It's one of the uh, cool things to cook on a griddle. Everything from like bourbon chicken to orange chicken, beef and broccoli, all your fried rices, some noodle dishes. Beef. Thank you. And now we got this. So check that out. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Peace. Mm. Golly. You you did a good job on that one, babe. <laughs> that shook them. It's good. <laughs> it's good. The inside of it has flavor. Mm-hmm. And you mm -hmm. typically don't get that. Mm-hmm.